Boop. There we go. There it is. All right, finally. Now I can pull this over here. I did. I scared it into submission, and now we're all together. All right, here's my fish. Um... Anyway, sorry, I had to deal with something over there on TikTok. Uh, so, the next thing, so I have my big long list of stuff to do. And the next thing, we just did Dossier Archangel, so we have, um, we have our good friend Garrus. The next one it wants me to do is Horizon, is, but I don't see that, right? Maybe I just do, maybe I check the wiki to see how you get it. Oh, I see. It's just go talk to the elusive man, which I fucking hate doing. God, I hate that asshole. He's such... Anyway, let's go to the CIC. Yeah, he's creepy. Not a fan. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. You see. What does this dude want? Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. Yeah. One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they send Commander Alenko, it must be big. I suggest you take it up with him. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise. Yeah. Are interesting. <sighs> Especially if Caden for the later on here is very sweet. To get to you. I think, but that's just because I think that Caden is sweet. We should send a message in his own to way. Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Oh, she just vanished there for a second. Okay. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. All right. 
Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. Yeah, we will. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Let's go! Let's see my old buddy. My friend. My Joe pal who had a huge... Horizon. I've got to go see the professor. He had a huge crush on me, but it's fine. Why do you just have one? I hate that you just have one of them. Tell me you have something. I understand why. I just hate it on my ship. Yes. It has been, how long has it been since I actually played? It's been like a month. We'll see if I can still do my crispy headshots. Hey, man. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our Why is everyone running into him? Priority. Yeah, okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me too. Oh. out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. Poor Caden. What is that? Oh no. Learn to shoulder check people, truly, Caden. Anyway, sh you can shoulder check those guys. Yeah, go. Jesus, that's pretty nightmarish, I'm not gonna lie to you. Boy, does EA know what um, is creepy. Run, girly! Leg it! Faster than that! Why is this sequence so long? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's so... No! Oh, that was awful. <laughs> Why did you do that to me, Yay! Okay. Boy, that was a long sequence, wasn't it? Of just like, hey, are you scared of bugs? Have you considered being scared of bugs? Oh look, it's the shadows. From Babylon 5. Never mind. Control. Giving me the wigs, my dude. Oh, who did the game say to take? Was Miranda? And I think Morden was one of them. Although, let's see. Who all does it say? So the thing recommends Garrus, Miranda, Morden. Garrus has some things to say to a character in this mission. I think probably to Caden. Morden has some dialogue, regardless of if you take him or not. Uh, fitting to bring Miranda for spoiler reasons. So I think I'm gonna take Garrus because he's the only one who would like remember. Also, I wanna hang out with my bestie Garrus. Miranda's here for story, Garrus is here for Vibes. <laughs> oh, she has some. Mm, you know what? You go. Oh, man! This is the first time since I got him that I'm actually leveling him up. I don't know. Oh, you guys can't see. He has 14 squad points. It's behind my camera. But he has 14 whole squad points. So we're just gonna. There we go. Cool.
which I need more sniper rifles is what is what I fucking need. I have the arc projector. Do I want grenade launcher instead? I do prefer the grenade launcher overall. Just cuz the arc projector takes a minute to like warm up. I prefer the grenade launcher just explosion more quickly. You sure those armor upgrades will protect us from the Seeker Swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory? That sounds promising. Experimental technology. Only test is contact with Seeker Swarms. Look forward to seeing if you survive. <sighs> Thanks, man. I can still do uh, headshots, uh, is what we've determined. Ooh, power cells. Is this where it came from? Oh, I probably have to go down and around. Okay. I wish the mini map would stay up while I'm walking around, you know? Thousand credits. We love money. The music is. The collectors are disrupting communications. Yeah, I got it. We're on our own now. They're husks. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You'll know how I feel about husks. Because of shot ready. 
great. Whew. Those things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. I thought the Geth got that technology from Sovereign. The elusive man was correct. The Collectors are agents of the Reapers. Four thousand two hundred credits. I should probably stop just like stealing from these poor people whose colony is actively under attack. But instead, I am gonna take their money. That's this. These things used to be human. This what's left of the colonists? No. On Eden Prime, victims were turned into husks by impaling them on spikes. We haven't seen any. That is such the a collectors point. must have brought the husks. They're taking the colonists alive for something else. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced, evolved. They still die if you shoot them. Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Maybe it's better not. To I like that you can that she is like looking up because Garrus is that much taller than her. Look at how much taller Garrus is than her. It's very funny. All right, let's go. Collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Yes, ma'am. Tall. Tall. empty buildings. It's unsettling. Just like freedom's progress. Tie calling. Heads up! Ah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Damn. I extremely missed. There we go. Take a quick break from battling to steal. I just love to steal money. Hear it. There it is. Oh, that's why it keeps sounding funny. I have a like a time slows down thing on my armor, I think. To help me aim better, which is why it sounds kind of funky when I do that. I thought it, I, it sounded funny because I was dying because it uh, the sound gets distorted when, you know, you've taken enough damage. But it's I think it's actually doing the correct thing in that um, I'm I did a whole thing with my sniper to make me a better sniper so I can kill people better because I love murder so much. Seems to be some kind of stasis field. Keeps you conscious, but completely helpless. They've been like this a long time. How can you tell? Girl, how can you tell?
these um, stasis peoples are making me very uncomfortable. That they're just like around. Yeah, it, helpless but aware is the worst. Like, thank you so much, EA. Thank you so much, Bioware, for this fucking nightmare. I thought the deep roads was fucking bad, but being stasis but aware as everyone around you is either killed or kidnapped is a pretty fucking bad. Not gonna lie. Yeah, you just remember the deep roads. And we hate it. I am assuming direct control. control. I'm gonna beam him. We shall be beaming this man. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Fucking harbinger. Where'd he go? Is Where is he? I'm sure you are. <laughs> fuck me, fuck. doing I think the ones that are especially affecting are the colonists that are trying to like help each other, like the ones that are frozen and trying to help each other up. Oh, that rough. That one's rough. I could have had a sniper's nest this whole time. Ugh. I saw in the fight that there was like these guys trying to help each other. That's that one's rough. There was a thing for power cells for like the big Oh, there they are.
Hello? Company. Get out here now. Hey, it's a person person. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You need them right here. You had to hear them trying to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean they're real? Yeah, sorry, dude. I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No. Oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They they got damn near everybody. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. They came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of box. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Commander Alenko here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Commander As if I don't Alenko? know. I heard he was some kind of hero or something. He is. He's on my buddy. nothing to me, though. I'd rather he stayed back in council space. <laughs> Any idea what he was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling he was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Giant gun, you say? Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. The Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said he was just here to get the towers online, but mark my word, there's more to it. What if I said this also? The Alliance doesn't care about the Terminus colonies. Damn straight, that's what I tried to tell everybody. The Alliance didn't send someone out here because they want to help us. Why did you let me say both? Something. Always are. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collectorship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. We can figure it out. Just tell us where to find it. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. It's pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. You know this colony and the equipment. You better come with us. Not a chance in hell. You'd probably just get in the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Black. I'm taking your shit. Also. We're taking all of your shit. Uh, choose weapon loadout. Uh, I'm pretty good with weapon loadout, honestly. Hmm. I'm gonna take your money, though. I'm not leaving this bunker.
whatever the fuck that thing is can. Oh, that was gross, right? That was like really gross. Jeez, I had forgotten those things even existed. That was very gross. I hated the normal husks to begin with. Why the hell did we have to have that? It was bad. There's got to be an easier way to deal with those things than just fire as hard as you can at them, right? Like there has to be a better didn't move very fast, which is good. Alright, I think I covered everything. Oof. This should come in handy. The bug noises are going to we haven't run across more frozen colonists. The collectors have already loaded them onto their ship. We're running out of time. The, the subtle bug noises are going to uh, drive me off a cliff. Pay money. Wow, look at their farmland. This is a pretty big colony, huh? One fell right on me. There's the transmitter. Yeah, before I turn on the transmitter, I actually have to clear the area of stuff because I think that is just story progression and I won't be able to grab stuff. So. And the stuff is like really important. Because I like to have things. So is it still a headshot thing? Are the Scions still headshot guys? Even with its head like all the way, like on its shoulder basically, pretty far down its little arm. Is this closed? Yeah, okay. That's what it looked like, right?
Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. All right, thank you. The wiki says the head is still a crit spot. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. Well, the back hump is a crit spot. From the front or from the back? Like, do you have to hit it from the back? Do you have to hit it from the back? Once they know this, the collectors will try to stop it. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Come on, pop up. Hey, shit for brains. Fuck, I missed. And now I'm out of ammo. You guys seem to be having a bad time over there with the uh, husks. Gotcha. How's everyone doing? We feeling good? There's got to be more. Yeah. I know. From where? Oh. Bright blue circle on their backs. That's probably what they're dropping right now, huh? What the fuck is
whoever took that last shot gets a drink. Yeah, I don't like the scary lots of heads, man. I don't like him. Too many heads, too many legs, too much going on. I think, uh, Garrus. Don't let him get away! There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. More than most, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. Captain of the Normandy, hey, babe. first human specter, savior of the Citadel. What's up, my man? You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And All the music. All the good people we lost, and you get left behind. Figures. Delan. Screw this. I'm done with you, Alliance types. Okay. The soft, gentle music. Hey, babe. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. I was. We can't get into it. It's been too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <laughs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. Thinking you were gone. It's like losing a limb. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I wasn't conscious, but... Dude, I woke up like a month ago, okay? I was out for two years. You've moved on with your career and your life. Why reopen old wounds? I did move on. At least I thought I did. But now we've got reports about you and Cerberus. Yeah. Reports. You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind. Hey Miranda, can you stop looking smug I got a for a minute? This colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. Yeah, <laughs> he seems like, <sighs> I don't know, there, he's sad, he's fucking sad, where all the Ashley ones I've watched, like, she's fucking mad. He is sad about this. I don't want to say Cerberus isn't the enemy. I Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies, that doesn't mean I answer to them. Miranda's like, hold on, I'm right here. Is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? <laughs> I wanted to believe the rumors that you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance attitude. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're blind to the real threat. I don't want to say you're too emotional, Kate. Okay. Yeah, also, Miranda, shut the fuck up. I didn't ask. This is actually... This moment is actually between me and an old friend, so if you could, like, go somewhere else. Go Fuck off. I don't want to tell him he's too emotional because I think that he is completely justified right now. Um. I can see you won't listen to reason. You show up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. What is reason figuring out? I told this? you I wasn't. It changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. Caden? It really is good to see you, man. <laughs> I could use someone like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. <sighs> Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. <gasps> he means it too, though. Shepard, send the shuttle to pick us up. He means it when he when he says be careful. When Caden says be careful after all of that, he fucking means it.
How many credits did I get altogether? Lots of credits. I have a skin weave. 10% health. Yeah, I also wish Garrus had said something because he's like, dude, I'm right here. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Caden uh, said the Alliance sorry? got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? What do you mean, another way I to lure them in? As in, like, a second right. way? As in, you had a first way? You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony just to lure the collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the collectors were looking for you or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and collectors gather strength. Besides... They would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. I want to beat his ass! God, I hate the elusive man! We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collector stop for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong. As will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. Yeah. If it shut the, the mission, fuck up. Better you should leave it behind. Nope. Shut up. Shepherd, that literally is not part of our agreement. Relay to the collector homeworld. There's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I know. Thank I you. I forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a Is way to... Is that how you say that word? Is that how you're so saying that word, elusive man? Collectors will be dossiers? Watching. It's dossier. Fucking pleb. <laughs> I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. They're powerful. But we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some... Closure, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so many things. Yeah, oh my god, they're all popping up all the time. Can I help? Let's have a chat you with everyone. Talk? Some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. 
Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. You are number one. Oh, I want to talk to Jacob. See if there's anything. Commander, we're doing a, a, a round. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. This one. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I'd think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. I he wasn't around be. enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, oh. well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Yeah, his is intense. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? You made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. I mean, you don't really have father's problem with your father. <laughs> you don't really have problems with your father right now. But we can go get you some if you want. If you want us to go pick that up. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Yeah, no problem. We will get to that. It will be in our list. We will get there. Oh my god, I have so many fucking things that my journal is updating with. Paragon. Retrain powers. I don't need to do that right now. Got this heavy skin weave. Thank you. And I did get it. Your antibiotic damage increase. And the tech duration. Thank you. Hey, my man. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden. Staff Commander Olenko, wasn't it? He moved on. I can't blame him. He was frontline with you against a Reaper. And I'm the one who gets roped back into saving <laughs> the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. <laughs> God, I love Joker. I assume everything's going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. <laughs> Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon <laughs> me forbids active observation techniques. 
Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. Oh my god. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. <sighs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. They're flirting so hard. It's adorable. Hey, babe. I saw the reports on Horizon Command. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Kate Nalenko was there. How did that go? See, this is why I shouldn't be a CO, you can tell, because I just address everyone as babe. I say, hey babe, how's it going babe? Which is not ideal. I've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. Do you have strong feelings for him? Caden's an incredible man. I didn't like saying goodbye. I'm sorry. Parting ways with someone so close is never easy. No, it's easy. I appreciate that, but I'll be okay. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe. Commander, you've received a new message right. at your private terminal. Thank you. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett. Last Hackett! How's it going? How's it going, bruh? discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. All right, my man. Is he also going to yell at me for not contacting him? Hi, Hackett. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me. I'm asking you to go in alone. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. This man is a big ol' softy. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. I'll make this a priority. I the won't. Prison is hidden underground <laughs> in the Batarian I mean, it's a priority in that it is on my list of things to do. But like, She's secure. Confirm it'll be fine. We'll get. We'll get there, dude. You when you're back. Got it. Anyway, from Nala Butler, Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. 
I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by some of those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part, and it was clear he sent when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus's squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give every, anything to get him back. But whatever happened out there, it wasn't Garrus's fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him I sent you this. Thank you. Nala Butler. Garrus. <sighs> he would take it personal every time. To Shepard from Cerberus Information Processing. Imagine having that job. We're aware your old friend Liara Tassoni has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. My old friend? We're just good friends. And roommates. I, anyway. We wouldn't mind helping her in the hunt, given the Broker's past work for the Collectors. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations, but unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus intel. If you'd visit Ily Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. All right. I have so many jobs to do. I want to be friends with Kelly good enough that she will um, feed my fish for me. Okay. I do like the AI hacking. Wow, look at how much paragon I have. All right, just gonna tab over to here. Next up, it says Dossier Tali, and then a bunch of Ilium. Great, it sounds like we're getting Tali, and then we are getting, uh, heading out to Liara. But we are also going to go talk to everyone. We have to finish our social rounds. Where were we? We were... Anything you do? No? Okay. Miranda and then Garrus is up here. And then Grunt is downstairs. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from Oh, we're father. doing that also. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know oh, nothing. Miranda. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. <sighs> I love the actor for Miranda in this. Because obviously she hasn't changed like 
her volume of how she is speaking or pretty much anything, but it still feels like she is taking this very seriously and she is concerned. You can hear the anxiety in a very controlled voice and it's very good and it makes me be like, mm, Miranda, okay, I'll help you. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Hey, Gellis. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. He said the thing! Calibrations! All right. See you later, Garrus. And I'll be bye. here if you need me. See you, man. Who all do we have on this level? We have Grunt and we have Jack. I keep forgetting that we have Jack, but we have Jack here. That's great. Hey, Grunt. How's it going? Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. I was just, just sitting here thinking. The picture, I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. Brogan boot on his head and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they were Okay. Her, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay! <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's running through all of the emotions and he's got <laughs> labeled an emotion. You did. Mm. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have Oh, that, that's not what I thought that reaction was. I hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just I I thought that was You don't mean Do you mean Garrus? No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. Oh. But I'm starting to feel what they did, to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. <sighs> the line... It's hate and it's mine are very, very good that like, he is establishing an identity and he has found something that is his, that like helps him define it. it okay, it happens to be brutality towards Turians, sure, but it's his. Hey, tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. I changed her outfit and it's very dumb, but I like it. Riding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's uh Sure. I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. <laughs> I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. 
That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place. Right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. They didn't give one shit about me. <laughs> You're bitter as hell! Anyway. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Not at all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Oh my god. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. <laughs> that's funny. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> you were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one's funny. But listen, okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not going to change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. Mwah! We're besties! See you later, bestie! Oh, I still need to get them their shit from... Oh. I'll do that later. Real quick, we're gonna do some. Ooh, uh, scanner results rich. Mud held a message for reason bullying when you said was little edge lord. Hold on, let me just do something real quick. Can I? Permitted term little edge lord. There, I think I also made you a mod so you can <laughs> do that yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're a moderator now. Congratulations. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Lord only knows. Ooh, look at all that palladium. You now have so many mod powers. I actually don't know what powers you have as a mod. 
But you have them. Ooh, you got a fancy new window? I think you should be able to like block people and ban people and edit messages or like delete messages. Oh, I guess scanner results for, yeah. Scanner results moderate. Ooh, lots of iridium. Recruit Tali, that's where we're going. Far Rim, way the fuck out here. Also, the little um, frame around your messages is a different color now. Before, when it was subscriber, it was just like this, this blue, and now it's green. How's that? How about that? Wow, that's a lot of Ezo. Okay. Probe away. <laughs> oh yeah, I added a bunch of the, those basic emotes. What do I need all this palladium for? Oh, no, it's a lot of iridium. Ooh, all this Ezo! For a sniper rifle project. I don't know what that means for me. Eh. Platinum, please. Oh. I guess all I have to do is say please, and I can have platinum then. More palladium, but thank you. Probe launched. Launching probe. I 
am going to go look at what that sniper rifle thing was, though, because you know I love a sniper rifle. Yeah, that's the increases damage by 50% against armor. Yes! I do be sniping. Ooh, I be sniping. Love to do it. Alright, okay. Now we've done that. Alright. Now, let's go get our friend Tali. Formerly a Quarian colony, Haystrom was established to observe the phenomena of Dolan, the system's parent star. Dolan has appeared to be unstable with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Haystrom was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after all communication from the planet and its attendant space station ceased, the Geth have shown no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries, other than establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output overwhelm most communications near it, and it is unclear how the Geth have compensated. Today's spy probes indicate extensive orbital construction around Haystrom housing, thousands of Geth platforms, and is known an, an unknown number of Geth software mines. It is not known how many Geth are on the planet's surface. Spy probes face interference from Dolan, making remote scanning difficult. Resource estimations based on Geth mining, re refining, and fabrication practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 more years of use before it is exhausted. Intelligence Experts speculate that the Geth have not exploited all of their resources because they wish to keep some of it in reserve for repairs. Travel advisory, Haystrom is a Geth stronghold. Military spy drones using cutting-edge technolo cutting stealth technology are the only vehicles that have returned unharmed from Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Let's go! Oh, who did I want? Probably Garrus, right? What does this say? Uh, Garrus and anyone. Yeah. Who do we want? We want... We love to have Garrus and... Uh, I do like Overload. I think I'm gonna bring Kasumi because overload is good. Oh, I forgot to change back to the Twitch chat, like a fool. Gallus. I do love that she has overload and that's gonna be very good for all of these guys. And you're good, how am I? I'm good. Just went. All right. Come on, guys. Everyone good? I'm having serious issues with my shield. Yeah, I know. Me too. Can we get in the shade, please? Thanks, Kasumi. Who chose your outfit, babe?
incoming dropship. Enemy! Light him up. That's pretty funny. I made the right choice grabbing Kasumi. With the sudden explosive. Oh. We should find an alternate path. We're roasting out here. Well, get out of the fucking sunlight. Wow, I'm really one-shotting these guys. Oh, hello! Thank you for a follow! Sorry, I'm... mid-sniping everything I can. Where's all that ammo gone? I need all this. Whoops. Gillis! Get out of the sun! As good a place as any. Heading to cover! Get out of the sunlight, you dumb shit! Good God. <sighs> anyway, hi! Now that I'm no longer <laughs> doing that. I'll yell at Garrus whenever I want. I love Garrus, but he is um, not the smartest man. Ooh, customized heavy that's pistol. Oh, that's more sunlight. No. What's the f what's the follow me button again? Options controls. Nope. Key bindings, that's what I want. Form up C. I'm on it. Come on, guys. And stay go fast. Faster than that. You guys good? Is that it? Oh, I think I hear people. Yeah, I hear shouting. Ouch. What's up? What's up? Let's go. What's up? What's up? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? What's 
the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Dropships started raiding Geth down on our heads before we could get off world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary mm. sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. <laughs> I'm glad that all of Chad is is is, is Garrus squad. We have to worry about the We're Geth all here for Garrus. I'm not romancing Garrus, but we love him anyway. That's my bestie. That's the best guy. All right. Holding up. We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all day. Yeah, we noticed. Garrus. You got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Um, if you want to be the self-insert, if you want to be in Jayante Shepard's crew on the ship and you're the one romancing Garrus, it's, it's, all, it's all you, babe. Fair enough. I... Old position. We'll hit their back ranks. Great. Oh, that seems unfair. Uh, the block, the block, guys. Shit. Crap, doorway's blocked. Grab the demo charges in the buildings nearby. Use them to clear a path. Shots, are you kidding me? I need ammo. Anyone got any? Got a little rough there because I didn't have my ammo. We need a core sample to get a timeline on the rate of radiation increase, but our core okay. keeps dying on us. Have a great day. Once used a mining laser to clear some rubble back on Therum. Maybe I can do something similar with demolition charges. Nice that she remembered. Fuck 
smoking. Way to go, Kasumi. That was great. That was very slick. You see that where she just like popped up and was like, hey, and kicked him right in the butt. It was very funny. It was Wow, really just one-shotting people. Hostile. I'm aware! noise still like <laughs> that was an embarrassing noise <laughs> I am alarmed by it but like apparently my alarm sound is ah ah <laughs> hello thank you for following ah fuck Jesus Christ come on man Fucking rocket trooper. Give me a rocket trooper. Oh no, you're fine. Whoo! Come on. Garrus, stop dying. Yeah, if we head to the left. Well, that was useless. I'm glad I came up here to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> it was very loud suddenly. There were suddenly, I was suddenly having to shoot things quite a lot. Do I have all my, all the weapons I need? It looks like. Anyway, thank you for following uh, Sam the Hay? Maybe. Oh, right. It's up here. Charges are go. Move it or lose it.
Garrus. Okay, I thought you were too close. God, I thought Garrus was about to die for the third time today. Behind get lines. Hope the Corians got what they were looking for. We can use this. Also, Garrus, that wasn't very nice to say. Tali's order to base camp. Come in base camp. Oh, oh I'll, I'll get to you in a second. Walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space. Walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. Great news! Yeah, I'll be there with you. I'll be with you in a second. I just was robbing you. You know how I am, Tali. It's fun. Do. What are you doing in the middle of Get Space? I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of get outside. What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. I like that she doesn't question the Normandy? The fucking blown up ship? Is anyone else still with you or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the gas outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the geth and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. All right, we load it up. Uh, we have loadout. Medical station, because someone keeps dying. They've seen us. Those drones have optical camouflage systems. Stay frosty. Thanks. Not Tali, Kasumi. Please get out of the sun. No 
Y'all, the sun, the sunlight, get out of it. People could just stay. Scratch one. What less to worry about? Thanks. Down you go. Nice. I don't know if there's any items out here. You don't mind if I steal from your ancestors, right? You don't mind. If I just bypass this ancient wall safe and you just take some take some stuff. Take your it's fine, it's fine. Oh no. Oh god, collapse it. Get down. A fucking colossus? Why does there have to be Look out! Over here! Get to cover! Hey Cal Rieger! Quad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines! Talked on the radio before that yeah, ship arrived. I remember you. That was like a minute ago. This ain't the time to be picky. Hallie's inside over there. She can't kill the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. And it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. Yeah. Get their near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the Geth. The middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. So, like, nowhere is good. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But 
with the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shields. Luck, you'll be able to finish it off. I can't remember. Can he die here? If I tell him to, like, sounds like a plan, he dies. And if I tell him to stay down, he doesn't, and it's better. I can't remember. Should Commander Shepard not insist that Cal Rieger sit the battle out with the Geth Colossus and then take too much time during the battle, battle Cal Rieger would die? So if he does join, the only way, yeah, higher risk of dying if he helps. Ed! You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Cali safe. Ah. This is our we don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. Also, I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. No, that's actually a really good point. All right, Shepard, we'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Keep us alive. Hostile. There we go. What has to worry about? Fuck! Why can that still hit me when I'm behind cover? That's fucked up. To get and behind something to thicker. Squad, watch my back. I need you here. Fuck. Sweet. Right? Yeah. Okay. Jesus.
damn it. What? Stop. Fuck off! Fuck him, finally. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. I just got completely cornered. Ugh. Fuck!
finally! Took for fucking ever, right? Is that everything? Fuck off. Finally, we got that guy. Everyone good? Kasumi? Great. Woof! Just let me finish this download. For sure, my man. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress. But I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. <laughs> I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's son is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger! You made it. Yeah, that's a buddy. That's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. <laughs> if need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. No problem, my dude. Hi, my friend! Server saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Server has threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. <laughs> if it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. She's don't got a point. To introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. <laughs> I'm sure she took that well.
I need a lot more platinum. Heavy bone weave. A lot more palladium, too. Oof. How's it going? Shepard. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? <laughs> I'll let you I love you, Morton. I'll be here if you need me. I'm glad you're having a good time. <laughs> I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. I'm more interested in just talking. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's we'll do this. We'll talk one. later. Commander. No problem. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. She's not my friend. I do too. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. Corians are so fascinating to me. They also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Kelly. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Uh, from Admiralty Board, Migrant Fleet, Commander Shepard. Per Tali Zora Vasanima's request included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the Migrant Fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but this has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. The cho this choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your request. The Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due to an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Rail Zora, Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board. Her dad. <laughs> From Robin Reeve, Commander. The Alliance soldier here gave me this contact information. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop the collectors. They took my son and brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at the schools, winter clothes that never got worn. Please. The Alliance isn't doing anything. The Council isn't doing anything. If you find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. Tell me anything, Robin Reeve. Woof. Rough. It's great to see Tali on board, Commander, just like old times. It is her, right? I mean, because with the mask, it's... I never mind. It's a little racist, but... I assume everything's going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... <laughs> Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Uh, Edie's funny. It is really funny. She just made his, his chair all spinny. Let's go chat with Jack all the way down. And then we can have a talk with... We can catch up with Tali! What a great time. Hey, girl, hey. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. Okay. All right. 
You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Why do you sit like that? hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. Fair enough. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragya where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. Yeah, man, listen. Burning down your abusive childhood home is... There was um, a story, uh, I forget where I saw it. Was it on Tumblr? I don't know, somewhere on the internet. Reddit, maybe. Um, where the father, a patriarch of the family, of course, uh, just died and left the family home to the kids because that's just how it went. Uh, he was uh, an abusive piece of shit and there was this uh, barn on the land and that's where he would like take his kids to beat them, like lock them in the barn and it was a whole thing like or overnight lock them in in the cold and leave them this whole thing. And all of the kids, after he died, were like, we want to burn this fucking barn down. Can we do that? Can we just, it's ours. It's on our land. We own it. Can we just set it on fire? And someone suggested, I mean, contact the fire department for better information. And so they did. And the fire department was like, yeah, you can. We'll, you know what? Can we use it as um, a training exercise? We'll set it. We'll get it all on. Set it on fire, and we will train in it, and then we'll train putting it out. It'll be great, and I, and so they did. And like catharsis isn't always the right move, but it's sometimes the right move. And so they just like had their the the kids showed up. The the grown up uh, children of this shitty man showed up. Uh, the fire department was there. Uh, it, I think some neighbors showed up, and they just like set up the barn and woof 
let it burn. And of course the fire department was right there to make sure it didn't get out of hand. And yeah, it's, that is a healthy catharsis. I don't remember where I read that story, but man, that probably felt really good. And to know that like someone in authority, the uh, fire department, clearly an authority figure, right? Is behind you and is helping and is doing their best to make sure that you are, you know? That probably felt really good. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. All right. I thought you stood in there. Hey, Kelly. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking yeah. out Gav on Haystrup, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors. But be careful, Shepard. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. All of the tracking devices, like you said, you could um, get rid of those. That'd be fine. sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. I like that he says Shepard. Uh, much in the way that Fenris uh, refers to Hawk. You want to hear my Fenris impression? <clears throat> Hawk. Which is <laughs> one of the best lines ever said. No messages for you, Commander. Great. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at a bunch of the um.
sorry, I got distracted. I have a handful of um, Omega things, I think, right? No, I guess I just have the one Omega thing and then the other thing. Okay, so there's a bunch of ilium, and then more ilium, more ilium, Trichanka. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Omega real quick because I think there's a few things. There's um, like the stuff for uh, the engineers down below. thing that I can give to um, Aria. I couldn't remember her name for a second. Wow, 16 squad points. All right, we're just going to auto level up on that one, babe. <laughs> oh, she has a combat drone. That's cute. You have a little friend. Uh, we love that. Uh, we need to go to... That's great. Works for is that Shepard? Shepard's supposed to be dead. Shut up. We'll get there eventually. I have some shopping to do. I didn't mean to buy those things, but I did anyway. Anyway. Too bad the capacitor helmet is ugly. Also ugly. where I could buy the stuff for them. FBA couplings. Omega. Yeah, I'm on Omega. Where are the FBA couplings? 
I thought I had to buy them. Where are they? There we go. Here they are. This looks interesting. Anyway, there we go. Hey, what's up, man? Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. Well, I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word of it to Harrod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Carrot's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Herrick control your prices? Herrick made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. I remember reading something about this. I can't remember. Yeah, it really is chump change, my dude. And I also already bought everything I wanted to from your shop because I. Here you go, a thousand credits. Get out of here. I. Thank you. Get. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. See you, dude. Yeah, I don't need these things. So. Do I have to still talk to Harrod? No. Yeah, seriously, kid. I have so much fucking money. Like, a thousand credits. Get out of here. Get you gone. Talk to you some other time, Ish. You're further down on the list, dude. I meant to get these the first time I was here, and I just fucking didn't. Great. to get this. I need to get way more platinum. Why do I not have any platinum? Because I keep... Anyway. Uh, it is currently 928. 
So how about I arrive in Ilium and that's where we will pick up next time. Let's get there though so I don't forget what I'm doing. I have so much fucking money. Where's Ilium? Here's Ilium. Whoa, whoa. So many fucking things. Oh, I need to go deliver the couplings. One sec. Be right with you. I need to go deliver those couplings. I bought them and then I didn't take them to the engineers. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. No gambling on my ship. Yeah, alright. Actually, that sounds interesting. Yeah, sure. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. I'm glad I did it now. I'll get the cards. I'm so glad that I did this with while Tali was here. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Oh, she's... Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. She's about to hustle. You want 500 credits! <laughs> be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. Never underestimate Shepard. <laughs> It's not worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up in the game. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> she absolutely wrecked him. <laughs> 500 credits. Well, I won back half as much as I gave to that kid, so... Yeah. You'll be nice to the rookie, right? I... Gosh, how do you play... What is it called? Pool? Alright, let's scan some shit, and then we'll get to Ilium. I just like to scan. Palladium. No Iridium's great, but I really... Yeah, it really, it doesn't progress the plot, doesn't change anything, but it makes a big difference in immersion and how you feel about your crew. It totally does. I feel like I am now friends with them, with the engineers, and like, I love that Tali was basically in on the joke there, that like, she knew that like, when the commander says like, oh, go easy on me, like, Tali understood. It was very funny. It was delightful. All right. And like, I could have just not done it, but that wouldn't have been as funny. platinum. I don't need more iridium. Probe launched. Launching probe. Not a lot of platinum. I'm gonna be honest with you. Whoops, not what I meant. If platinum is good too, palladium rather. Probe away. Probe 
launched. Ah, that's a lot of iridium. Okay, okay. I need to find something to spend that iridium on, huh? There's a lot of palladium here. <gasps> Where did it go? Yes, give me all the platinum. Can now afford the cannon. Great! That's really what we're going for here. I'm gonna go buy it right now because I don't want to forget it. And then be scrambling at the end to get all of the things. Now let's go land on Ilium and we will be done for the day and we will return to this eventually. All right, let's see this beautiful land. Uh, Ilium is a classic garden world developed to serve as an entrepot. Entrepot? Oh, entrepot? between the Terminus systems and the Asari Republics. To abet this, tra abet this trade, the normally stringent custom laws of the Council space on product safety, prescribed materials, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world. It is colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives the same legal attitude enjoyed by the human corporate research enclaves of Novaria. Ethically dubious. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled in during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born on the world is now reaching her middle age. The world is hot and massive. Ground settlements, ground settlement is only possible at higher polar latitudes. In more equatorial locations, a population is housed in archeology span skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Cool, let's go, let's go to that. And we're bringing Probably Garrus, but we're checking first doing, oh, they're all anyone. That's great. Okay. Yeah. We're, okay. We'll take Garrus. Who have, I, who have I not gone out with in a while? I guess like Zaid and I guess I haven't gone with Grunt in a while. Yeah.
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pretty. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. We're gonna make out. It's fine. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing. <laughs> <laughs> What's so dangerous about signing something? I get the Ilium joke, but... is a but... free trade world, Commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Everything. Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. Yeah, that's still slavery. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants. It's still slavery. And a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. That's slavery with extra steps, ma'am. <laughs> that's... okay. You said Liara was here? So is Liara is here? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Hold on, I need to get a thumbnail real quick. Excellent. Oh, that's beautiful. God, this this game is so pretty. Like I know I know that the original Mass Effect was really pretty as well, but I feel like this is just oh, the graphics update for Legendary is so juicy. It's very good. I want to continue playing, but I'm also very very hungry. So, we will simply stay here. We've had a great time. It's good to see my my bestie and my little son who's ready for action. We love it. We love it. I love you. Come here. Come here. No, come here. Come here. No, let me love you. Come here. Mwah! And another kiss for the bestie. Gotta kiss the homies goodnight. Mwah! Kiss the homies goodnight. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I am framing up the thumbnail, I want you to know. 
All right, great. Okay, we've done it. That's a good thumbnail. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will be back eventually, hopefully Monday again, um, <laughs> if my brain cooperates. Uh, thank you so much for watching. The VOD will be up soon on my YouTube. Goodbye.